Да, просто. It's rather far from here. Uh, I am living in Novosibirsk city. It's a rather big city. It's uh, two and a half million people. I think for Russia we are the fourth uh, city uh, after Moscow, Saint Petersburg, uh, and Ekaterinburg. And uh, in my election, I would like uh, uh, to tell about myself, about my professional activity and uh, many, many interesting things. And uh, beautiful Anna Stepanova will help me uh, with, uh, with the translate because I'm sorry but uh, I don't speak uh, English rather well uh, because... Uh, because... <laughs> I'm sorry. And uh, uh, while uh, it's not difficult uh, to speak in English, uh, I can uh, to say such thing about myself that uh, I have uh, in Russia I have uh, several jobs. Uh, it's a usual situation for most musicians uh, to have a lot of jobs different jobs. Uh, some uh, of them uh, work uh, in uh, several orchestras, uh, symphony orchestra and wind orchestra, sometimes in jazz orchestra, uh, wind orchestra, and also some of them uh, are teaching. And uh, me also. I'm playing a uh, jazz big band um, almost uh, 28 years. Also, I play in concert with orchestra, uh, 25 years, maybe, maybe more. And also, uh, I'm teaching at the musical colleges uh, more than uh, 29. And you know, this activity is a normal life for me, and I like it very much. Uh, usually, uh, I am very busy. Uh, I have not holidays, but uh, almost I uh, have not. Uh, but uh, I like, I like the uh, uh, such life. I cannot follow to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm teaching at uh, the university of Wisconsin. Она очень сильно связана uh, вообще с социальной жизнью uh, в России. This kind of activity is, uh, is connected to with the social life in Russia. Почему? Uh, Why? Uh, все знают, что мы, uh, у нас есть некий кризис экономический. Everyone knows that we have a crisis right now. 
Этот кризис продолжается порядка уже 10 лет, а то и больше. Но он тщательно скрывается. But, uh, to hide this. Но тем не менее он есть. But anyway, we have this. Для того, чтобы выжить, музыканты вынуждены работать очень много. To live in our country, musicians should live, should work more hard, more and more. Причем даже для того, чтобы жить на довольно среднем уровне. Even if we want to keep just middle level of the life. Теперь подробно я об этом позже расскажу, чем я конкретно вот занимаюсь, более подробно. Later I can tell you more about my activities. А сейчас я скажу немножко о нашем городе, буквально несколько минут займу, что наш город всегда славился джазовыми традициями. Our city, Novosibirsk, always was very famous with jazz traditions. И буквально начиная с того момента, когда мне пришлось заниматься плотно педагогикой, обнаружилось что у нас есть большой пробел в академическом образовании касаемо, касаемо саксофона. И каким образом это стало понятно, когда стали вырастать мои ученики, When my students grew up, и мы стали ездить с ними на конкурсы, то есть мы просто стали выезжать за пределы нашего любимого города. We took part in different competitions, not only in Russia and outside. Also outside of our city. Outside of Novosibirsk city. For example, мы обнаружили что на самом деле за пределами нашей Родины потрясающий уровень игры на саксофоне. We found that not in Russia, but in other countries, the level of saxophone is absolutely amazing. Yeah, especially in France. Especially in France. <laughs> И uh, единственная мысль, uh, которая, так сказать, меня терзала, это что мы хотим так же, но пока не знаем как. And what we were thinking about that we want to play the same good like in France, but right now we don't know how. Почему я сейчас об этом рассказываю? Потому что это нужно понять, что когда играешь долго джазовую музыку, но при этом в консерватории я учился сейчас такое длинное предложение. В консерватории я учился безусловно академической музыке, но там был очень сжатый репертуар. When I, I, I learned in conservatory, uh, of course I played uh, uh, classical saxophone, but uh, the repertoire was not enough. Not enough, just it's too small. Too small repertoire, just maybe four or five uh, four. concerts, concerts on saxophone, and uh, mainly we used uh, transcriptions of, of uh, baroque music. Also, it was very interesting, but it's not enough. И поэтому. That's why. Да. И поэтому э, как бы все время чувствовалось какой-то какой недостаток обладения При этом э, я подчеркиваю, я по э, хочу подчеркнуть важную вещь, э, что при этом э, очень много я выступал, очень много играл, я ездил на джазовые фестивали. In the same time, I want to mark that I played a lot of concerts and took part in numerous festivals. Это было в 90-е годы и в первую половину 2000-х годов. It was in 1990s and the beginning of 2000. И я выступал на очень известных концертных площадках. I performed in many very famous concerts, concert halls. Но это был только джаз. But I only played jazz. И все равно, когда мы ездили на конкурсы в тот же самый Париж, anyway, Paris, 
меня все время терзала мысль, почему вот они умеют играть такую сложную музыку, а мы еще нет. Причем мы занимали места на конкурсах, бывало даже не международных, бывало даже первые места, но с более классическим репертуаром саксофона, не современным. But uh, not with the uh, contemporary repertoire, uh, but uh, just with classical with classic. repertoire, uh, like uh, Creston, Dubois, or something else. И для себя я сделал вывод. I made one conclusion for myself. Thank you. И для себя сделал вывод, что, в общем, я должен уметь играть и то, и то. I made conclusion for myself, I should start to learn both. Да, и научить этому своих учеников. And teach my students to play. Скажу, почему это очень важно. Дело в том, что так как мне очень часто приходится играть джаз, и я играю джаз в джаз-оркестре, Jazz in jazz orchestra. Rather often, often, uh, and also we have some concerts with my combo, with quartets, uh, with quintet or sextets. And uh, one uh, hour later, uh, you can listen uh, to my concert six o'clock, uh, the same place. No, and. Uh, 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 the jazz musicians, uh, because jazz musicians have some specialities only to jazz musicians in relation to Shura, in relation to articulation and in relation to aesthetic sound. Jazz musicians are very special about uh, articulation, about embouchure and about uh, uh, quality of this sound, aesthetic. aesthetic. Aesthetic of sound, of course. Yes. And in Russia, I don't know how in Europe, in Europe it's the same. Uh, существует uh, достаточно большое разделение между радикальными классическими саксофонистами и радикальными джазовыми саксофонистами. In Russia there is a big difference between uh, classical saxophonist and uh, jazz saxophonist. Uh, они uh, непрестанно критикуют друг друга. They always fight each other. Other. <laughs> uh, но в основном благодаря тому, что джазовые музыканты не могут то, что умеют классические музыканты, и, соответственно, классические не знают, как играть джаз. И на самом деле, если попытаться структурировать эту проблему, if If we uh, try, if we try uh, to imagine uh, the music, uh, aesthetic of music, uh, like uh, some structure, is uh, what is it? It consists of what? Consists of what? Then we can understand. Понять, каким образом играть джазовую музыку, каким образом играть классическую музыку. Причем понять не на а, абстрактном каком-то уровне, на уровне интуиции. Извини, надо. То есть согласны или благодаря, да, according to consciousness. И если все время стараться именно сознательно все, что мы играем в музыке, использовать в большей степени в первую очередь сознание, то таким образом вполне возможно решить эти проблемы. If in music we uh, always use consciences, yes, uh, then we can finish many problems if we control. Uh, to play consciously. Consciously, yeah? Consciously. Yes. Consciously. Yes. Use the brain. Use the 
brain, yes, the yes. thinking. <laughs> И еще одна очень важная идея, One very idea. которая была, так сказать, мной, что ли, в процессе моей работы многократно подтверждена. This idea was confirmed. This idea was confirmed in my job many, many times. Да, что каждый из нас это своего рода э, записывающее устройство. Each of us is recorder. Recorder. И наша память and our memory uh, record absolutely every our step, every our step. Uh, if uh, we have not control uh, of uh, each step, the, our memory records uh, also uh, as well as uh, uh, difficult and mistakes and also good things and also always make things. recording yes absolutely it's very, it's very important law uh, because uh, for example uh, if you lose just few seconds uh, their attention uh, and the conscious uh, activity uh, you lost a uh, few minutes, but uh, this uh, information was record, was record to your memory. Yes, and for example, uh, a very good example of it, uh, if uh, your uh, if your pupil or student uh, uh, make makes uh, a lot of mistakes during uh, two months. But uh, last three or four days before the concert, uh, uh, he uh, plays rather good, rather well. Uh, of course, uh, he works and he changed uh, his mistakes on the stage. On the stage, when he started, uh, you have a mix of the new, uh, new quality, but mainly the old quality when he uh, uh, played uh, during two months it's at uh, it's always it always, always always even uh, he plays uh, perfect uh, last days uh, but uh, the two months which was were, was uh, before this month win in absolutely uh, in the any cases just maybe some things uh, will uh, a little bit better, but not uh, not more. И uh, как бы вот эта работа сознательного, the working with uh, conscience, uh, for me it's uh, mainly mainly activity in my teaching. Uh, теперь uh, now, now I would like uh, uh, to tell uh, about uh, the. Uh, particularities uh, uh, of uh, I'm sure of jazz uh, musicians and uh, uh, classical musicians uh, as you know uh, when uh, jazz musicians uh, play they of course uh, they heard uh, a lot of jazz music uh, a, a lot of uh, famous saxophonists and all oh, uh, it uh, it could be uh, sounds like this or like that, and also uh, often they uh, they often uh, look uh, to the video and also uh, to uh, see uh, try yes to try uh, to to copy of their ambushers. It's absolutely a stupid situation, stupid situation, and uh, they are uh, they are going. Uh, to the wrong way, absolutely wrong way, and very, very far from the right way. And uh, uh, for me, when I uh, started uh, to play baroque music, for example, uh, wrote uh, for uh, strings, it's it's very it's uh, it's very uh, for myself it, it's very useful, useful. Uh, for my embouchure, it's stable, but the jazz sound uh, does not change. 
after Baroque music. No, we don't need so much uh, push uh, low leap pre pre pressure pre pressure pressure uh, the low leap uh, up. up. Yes, we don't because uh, we don't lose uh, the sound, the main sound. If you need the uh, uh, to have uh, good overtones, uh, no problem. And uh, now I uh, I try uh, to play uh, for you some uh, some of music, and you can uh, to listen. Uh, uh, I uh, I will play on the uh, usual classical uh, mathis. And for example. замена этюдом. Если, допустим, ученики э, в какой-то момент э, хотят схалтурить, не знаю, как по-английски сказать, уйти, хотят уйти, так сказать, от ну, серьезной работы. Да. Да. Это э, такие произведения, которые когда-то написал Бах для струны, в частности, это одно из, из одной сюит. Они позволяют э, им держать себя более-менее хотя бы в относительной форме. То есть если у них нестабильный аппарат, какие-то имеются какие-то серьезные проблемы в амбушуре, okay, да, то есть они просто не, не сыграют. They, they есть, наличие вот этих интервалов, скачков, они позволяют да, пока мы от Баха не ушли еще, каким образом я соединяю на уроках немножечко классику и современную музыку, сейчас еще покажу один пример. Допустим, в отличие от Европы, в России экзамены всегда сдаются наизусть. И поэтому, допустим, учить вот эти сюиты наизусть достаточно сложно. 
why it's very difficult to learn this kind of uh, Baroque music. Допустим, бороть особенно сюиты Баха, потому что они фантастически гениальны по содержательности. Содержание, ну, genius, 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 consistence, 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 да. То есть, если мы, допустим, играем вот эту сюиту harmony of this music use piano. But uh, Bach even didn't know about them. But he became uh, a father of uh, contemporary and pop music. Elton John. instrument uh, it's a melodical instrument but uh, we can play multiphonics chords uh, but mostly it's a melodical instrument one voice if we learn the music like this uh, use piano and uh, we can understand more about this music We can analyze this uh, from the point of har harmony. Then we can understand this music more good and we can remember more good. Because many, many students, they just remember the music use fingers, just mechanical way to remember. They are waiting until the moment when uh, memory of hearing uh, yeah. uh, can connects with uh, memory of And these uh, students go to the stage and they play like a robot. I try to teach my students to play online, always to control, not like robots. It came from jazz, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not aesthetic of but approach to play by heart. And the 
When the, the person, when the student uh, um, play, uh, play, play by hearing, yeah? by, by ears, and write the music himself, write by ears. This is the most important when the, the student not only can write uh, musical uh, dictation. Because mo mostly dictation of the children here. <laughs> mostly children don't know this music and uh, probably they don't like. But when children start to to copy something what they like themselves by hearing. We start to understand more good the theory theory of music. what can combine, connect uh, these two kinds of musicians, classical and jazz musicians, that they can uh, listen more and uh, try to write the music yeah, by ears. Listen to the concert of our noble camp yesterday and before yesterday. Hello? No one? Japan friends? No? No. No one. No one. Did, did you have been uh, in the Sinski concert hall? Uh, uh, have you been? Our noble camp played? Sorry. Two days ago, have you been in the Sinski concert hall when our noble camp played the music? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arno von Kamp is very special. His music and his sound, everything is special. Maybe not so many people know, but before Arno von Kamp played jazz. It doesn't mean that right now he plays like jazz musician. Right now he's classical. Right now he plays like classical saxophonist. Before he played different kind of and different styles of music. So maybe that's why that's why he he has more possibilities to to look the music from different sides. That's why when we listen uh, classical saxophonists, uh, most of all, uh, mostly we cannot find the difference. They play mostly the same. But if a saxophonist or musician uh, learn more styles, then this can give him uh, opportunity or possibility to look more widely this music, this piece.
Russian composer,
change the melody very easy. Uh, I will show you the example of how from classical music we can create one jazz piece. For example, we uh, take a very famous Caprice uh, by Bono. This music was written in the beginning of uh, 20th century. we can hear the intonation uh, very similar with jazz music. Actually, jazz music took something from classical music. Jazz music very often was taken from uh, classical music as well. The most important what the jazz music done did did uh, changed the accent from the strong beat to weak beat. Very often for jazz music. 
If we change the accents to beat, we can get jazz music. And right now we uh, put the accents to every strong beat in the trio. trio. We change the articulation and get the jazz. When we mark the strong beat, we give more breath. More breath, like this. But we play with triples. Выделяем, 
and mark every week beat with breath with breath breath and tone tone exercise to control every beat. Thank you. 
Concert starts uh, at uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. Huh?